Today, Guillaume and I are picking our current favorite amps over 2,000 euros. Woo! Ooh. I'm Chris here. And my name is Guillaume. Welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses and to today's video, part of our uh, ongoing series of Chris and I picking things. <laughs> Current crushes. In various categories for various reasons. Today. This was actually uh, one of your um, recommendations. That's true. That's true. Uh, we did it with guitars a few months ago with uh, picking our favorite current sub 500 and over 5,000 yeah. uh, guitars. You guys suggested that we did it with amps. This is the second episode with amps. We already have our sub 500 euro video on the channel somewhere, so go check it out. This is our over 2,000 euro uh, amplifier selection. Over so, 2,000, what a uh, pitiful, pocket money. Pitiful pocket, pocket money. money. We I wanted wish... to go over five, but there is not a lot. We could go, <laughs> we could go over 15 in a wet, dry, wet stereo. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> we set ourselves the challenge not to pick something that we own, because we do have one or two really Oh, nice true, amps. we did say that. Oh, I, yeah. I, I literally could have just went for the Rev Dynamis, which is just over 2K. Yeah, true. And that would be like, okay, that's my amp for a good reason, but hey, no. Nope, let's choose something else that we sort of yeah. crave after. We don't, we don't stock my amps because I'm special. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. I revealed my amp first in yeah. the sub 500, so it's your turn. Um, uh, really? Do I do it first? Okay. Yeah, you do it okay. first. But you guessed them. Yes, it is a combo. It is a 112 combo. It is a boxy combo. The problem is that he, he knows his his stuff. I know my combos. Yeah, he knows his combos. Uh, so he probably can guess really accurately, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I'm gonna say, taken our current offering of amplifiers. <sighs> and he also knows what's in stock. That's... I kind of know what's in stock. Yeah, but this is still difficult. Um, I And I'm wondering because it could be, I could see a, like a, a Tone King Mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. but i know you have one. <laughs> i have a token i have yeah, a the token. imperial but they have the royalist so, they have some other stuff so i'm going to say i'm going to say it's not a fender because yeah we got some hand wired stuff that might be around 2k but i don't think so i i'm i'm going to say um, either a freedman or tone king go for one. Oh no i, I yeah. can i not have no you cannot uh, can i have both <laughs> you have to. All right, well then, uh, Friedman. Okay. Twin sister. Okay. It was the other one. It was none of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I get it. You know me, and you know I, I have a huge yeah, crush but... on Friedman Ams. But no, this is something that I've played almost at the beginning of my Toman times, like 2016-ish yeah. or something, yeah. 17 maybe, I don't know when they came out or when Toman started stocking them, but as soon as they arrived, I plugged this one in and I couldn't believe how awesome it is. I'm just not really a combo guy. I'm more of a head person, so I, I, I never got one, but every single time, yeah. it's just the thing. Yeah, and, like, and, and Morgan is just... Morgan, uh, this is the MVP 66, by the way, KT 66 uh, loaded power section. Yeah. It has the scale, the power scale, so you can make it sound not stupidly loud, but still sound like it's stupidly loud, which yeah, is I've awesome. Been, it's like I've, a really clever attenuation. I've been, looking, uh, I've been looking at it for my personal collection. I, I know, of, I know, because uh, you do have a Morgan. I, ha I have a Morgan, and I could, I could see myself with the second. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, whatever. Okay, without further ado. What's under that? Oh well, you tell me, boy. Oh, you tell me. <laughs> sure. Okay, I know you're tricky, and I know that you you like you like making a combo look like it's a head, or a head making the head look like it's a combo. <laughs> I'm guessing it's gonna be that's the Marshall under it, right? So it has to be a head. Could be. It has could to be, be a head. Could also and be I not cannot. The Who knows? I cannot guess could that be. shape. 
could be another 412. Then. Yeah, a really small 4 by 12. <laughs> the fact that there's a cable on top shows that the, the knobs should be on the top, which yeah. throws me off completely. I do not know anything about anything that we have that has that form. So it's going to be a Tone King, because I don't know, you like Tone Kings. I do like Tone Kings. It is a very good guess. Wait. Wait, wait. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have a, a, a too early impression. Oh! It's a Marshall. Okay, well, that's the same, okay, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a hand-wired version of the Marshall. <laughs> oh, no, I'm geez. joking. <laughs> it's really Dude, not. Dude, that's the, that's why. Yeah. I, okay, I really Victory. wanna try that. I've never v tried the- V140. The, the V140 deluxe. is something I've never heard in person. The V40 Deluxe is one of my favorite amps. This one is the same, but louder and looking better. 100 watts, 100 uh, watt version of, of the... pure headroom, Ooh. spring reverb, <laughs> and tremolo goodness. One of my favorite clean amps in the history of clean amplifiers. Okay, okay, why don't I start then? <laughs> Just to make you suffer. <laughs> just happened. Halfway through I turned on the golden happened? reverberator and the Orion uh, delay, tape goodness. delay. Uh, it all went into the front end of the amp. It doesn't have an effects loop. It's one channel and it's, oh. it's... This is beautiful. It's not even stupidly loud because I scaled down the power to like a manageable volume. Yeah. This is like a, a rehearsal volume, I yeah. guess, something like that. But, uh, but the Christ. volume of the amp and the gain the is cranked past 12 o'clock, which means that it, it saturates. It can do clean. It has tons of clean um, headroom if you want that and just want to use pedals for gain and everything. But I love this chewy, sweet, warm thing that is just so unique to the MVP um, Morgans. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, just one more thing. I didn't use any dry pedals. Uh, let me turn on the Toxic Twins. You know that pedal, you've heard it a million times, just to see how it reacts to it. It does react in a really good way. So this is just the amp and then the Toxic Twins in front of it. Well, it's uh, very unsurprising that if you have a good amp, a good pedal, a good guitar, <laughs> it sounds good. So. Yeah, but you know, Morgan does have this preference of like the Vox AC30S yeah, kind of sure, Yeah, for sure, for sure. And the Vox AC30 is not the easiest uh, amp to pair it with pedals. That's there are true. tons of pedals that work really, really well, don't get me Absolutely. wrong, but you cannot just throw any drive pedals at it and just hope that it will sound good. It's going to be a bit pickier than some other amps. That's true. This isn't. This is just... Magical. Okay, I'm done.
I still like it. It's <laughs> <laughs> but you had quite some uh, drive on the amp as well, right? Then yeah, it's... You it's, turned on the pedals, but yeah, it, was, it, it was a it little... It overdrives in, yeah, yeah, pretty okay. quickly. So yeah. that's the, the volume with which you set up this, like, the... the yeah, sort of you set the, the much tree it drives, a little bit. Yeah. And then with the master, you can adjust yeah. the volume yeah. of the amp. Okay. No <sighs> trem, quite a bit of reverb, but not so much. But even with the, like, it's the cool thing with those super high room amps, like, the sheer volume of it will bring you so much bass that you really yeah. want to be careful with it in yeah. the mix, because right. yeah. it's just, yeah. And it does a bunch more of like the the, 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 the reverb, sorry, not the volume. Yeah, the yeah, reverb yeah. is just so yeah. lush. Right. So. <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. No, I it's, love it. Okay. It's uh I think we should get a victory in the studio. It's it's right up yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> He's doing the <laughs> the thing. Hey. <laughs> hey. Do you hear him? Hey, victory. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. Oh man, I don't even know what to say. I, I am struggling. Which think, one would you pick out of these two? Well, <laughs> uh, for real estate purposes, I'll take the, the 140. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll take the victory for sure. I, I don't know. I Honestly, I need like a bit of a, I need a bit of that voxy thing in my life as well. Like I mostly have American voiced clean out. Yeah, yeah. This is this is different. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the cool thing about Morgan. That's what I love about Joe's designs. That it it does give you that flavor because you can tell that yeah, he loves yeah. the AC30 and 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 you know, it's his thing. But it it's so far from mm. a box. Yeah, like, yeah. it's so much more full, so much like a different mid range. But that kind of jingliness yeah. somehow is just there. And yeah. I I love the fact that it works with pedals too. That would be a no-no for me. For sure, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, we just yeah, love 100%. using pedals. It's Which is a, yeah, definitely more of a safe bet with that guy because yeah. it's just... But if I, if I just needed one amp that I know will work for everything, that it would more be the right. American yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to try it with a fuzz. And here's, That's going to be a great outro. And plan. here is the reason why. It sounds like a resonator. I just wanted to do some. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't get to. I know it's not a pedal demo. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Outro. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> subscribe and things. <laughs> we are a little. Yeah, let us know in the comment section if you enjoyed that video and if you'd like to see more of those videos where you tell us uh, to what pick to do. things <laughs> and we do it. Because it's very enjoyable. Uh, we could yeah, pick yeah. within brands. We can pick within price ranges. We could pick uh, a current favorite trombone. Current bones. favorite trombones over seven k. Something we've been looking forward to. We know doing. just the guy to do that video for you, <laughs> right, Phil? Yes. <laughs> um, but, oh gosh! All right. But, yeah. Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. All of that. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.